Hey guys, welcome to another video here. Uh, this is a 2013 Nissan Maxima and we're going to be replacing the front driver side seat belt. It was involved in an accident and the seat belt is jammed as you can see here. So um, it's locked and this is the front seat. First thing we're going to be doing is pushing the front seat all the way forward and recline it. Kind of give us uh, room to work with right here and uh, one of the panels we're going to be removing is this one here but before we remove that one the bottom part it's got rear and front panels right over here to the side so we're going to have to remove those as well and we'll go ahead and start by removing the rear panel here we'll just put our hand fingers right here and kind of push it up just like that and it comes right off there it is we'll just put that to the side and next we're going to be removing this front panel to the left of the front seat we'll just put our hand there and push it up and there it comes right off we'll just leave it there for now and we can go ahead and remove this one the same way it had the passenger side seat belt jammed locked as well I just finished that one and uh, it's working fine now all the way clicks fully functional okay so this one's a little bit tricky because it's getting stuck behind between the seat belt and we'll just gently pull it out okay the side panel is off now and all right so to speed up this process i'm going to use my power tool here and basically we're going to remove the total of four bolts and there's one 14 millimeter millimeter bolt behind here and we're gonna just pry this thing out and this cover plastic cover snaps right off and just put that to the side and uh, first 14 millimeter bolts this is uh, bottom piece second one here's a 10 millimeter bolt for us to remove and another 14 millim millimeter bolt right here um, we're gonna go ahead and first remove the 14 millimeter bolt up top this will uh, release tension on the locked seat belt so it's gonna be a little bit loud sorry for a couple secs a couple seconds here All right, as you can see, that one's off. And so I picked up this seat belt, the whole thing seat belt, and the retractor from a used parts. If you're curious as to the price, you don't always have to buy them brand new for several hundred dollars from a dealer. Uh, I'm gonna use a, a nice used one from the same 2013 model, exact same thing so picked this up used it was around 80 to 100 dollars uh for two the guy gave me a deal he's uh he's a good friend through customer service over time and he gave me a deal for 45 dollars a piece so next we're gonna go ahead and uh remove this 10 mil uh the 11 uh, four, i'm sorry 14 millimeter bolts <laughs> Okay, this one's out right there we have to save this one because we're gonna need to reuse that the top bolt here comes with the seat belt we don't need to reuse that this one we will and we snap off this is the third 14 millimeter bolt remove the plastic clip right head right there the cover that is a 14 millimeter bolt that we have to remove all right that one's out 
Okay, the next thing, guys, is a 10 millimeter bolt right here. I'm gonna remove that as well. Yeah, air tools speed up the process. I like that. Okay, this piece is out now, and it's got that connector there. To remove the connector, we're gonna have to use a flat blade screwdriver right here. Connecting wiring harness. We will gently pry that in there behind. Okay, so a little bit hard to do with one hand, but it's not impossible. So once we pry up this black clip right here, the connector, wiring connector can be pulled up and removed right there. Just gotta be gentle with that, be careful. And this is the seat belt that we're gonna be replacing it with. We'll go ahead and connect the wire here. We'll push the yellow plastic connector in and then I'm going to push the black piece in there and that locks it in so next we're going to go ahead and pick it up and hang right on here okay so we'll go ahead and use the 10 millimeter bolt to connect that in there to hold it just temporarily we'll use the 14 millimeter bolt for the bottom piece part and I'm gonna go ahead and uh, screw that in there So I'm going to go ahead and uh, using 14 millimeter socket and my air tool, we're going to go behind right at the bottom here. We will screw in the 14 millimeter bolt all the way in. Okay, I'm going to leave that for now and we'll screw that in in a minute. Okay guys, so next uh, this buckle here was missing the 14 millimeter bolt so I took it from the old one and put it on there so it's got the thick about half an inch washer on the front with another washer on the front of that so i put that together and we're gonna go ahead and screw it in all the way 14 millimeter bolt all right it's all the way tight in there and we're gonna go ahead and take this bottom part and screw that in there. Before we do that, we have to make sure that the seat belt is straight and lined up. We don't want it to be kind of turned left or right all the way, kind of twisted like that. So we gotta make sure it's all flat, nice and flat. And we'll latch on that 14 millimeter bolt in there and screw it in all the way. Okay, we'll just use the air tool, 14 millimeter socket. Alright, it's about 
all the way in there. And go ahead and replace the plastic cap, the cover. It's on there. And so basically we screwed in all the way 14 millimeter bolt here. And I screwed in the 14 millimeter bolt the the rotary uh, buckle here the seat belt and there's the 10 millimeter bolt I uh, screwed it all the way in and this one is ready to go till we put the plastic cap we'll go ahead and replace this one here the plastic the top plastic cover it goes right in there just like that Actually, I still be more like right there. Yep. All right, that's working now, and the seat belt's working. Yep, that locks too. Okay, so the final steps would be replacing the big plastic covers now there's three of them that we took off we'll go ahead and uh, replace the center piece here and there's a little bit of an opening right here the seat belt can go come through here and we'll put it right back Now for this job we then need to remove these door seals front and rear so no need for that we kind of have to push that in there all right that one's in we'll go ahead and take the Go ahead and take the plastic cover for the rear and slide that in there. So we'll just have to kind of watch for the lines. It's right here, it's lined up. Press it in there. Hit it a couple of times. Just use our hands. So that one's in. And we just have the last front piece left so we'll come up to the front pick that up line it up okay so okay guys press that in there hit it a couple of times four or five times it's nice in place and the new replaced seat belts working there's the buckle we clip it and it's nice ready to go all right thanks for watching guys good luck with yours take care